Hello my soccer universe, haven't done one of these where I show you a subset of my collection in a while, but this one is now rather topical, although not all of them or most of them don't really fall into, into that. It is jerseys that are outside of the, and we're talking only club jerseys, outside of the eight leagues that I decided to focus on. And part of showing such sub collection and making this video is also to share, uh, to share some experiences that I have in collecting. And, you know, I was about to go wild at the beginning when I started collecting for the channel, because before that, that might be a completely different video, I usually collected teams that I like or where I like the jerseys and, and so on. But then I was about to go crazy and, you know, add some teams from, say, South America or add some teams from uh, rather obscure places, like I was twice about to buy a Spartak Moscow jersey. Um, but making the decision to stay focused on the eight leagues that I cover in on my channel, which are and in no particular order, it's Austria, it is Germany, it is Italy, and Germany was actually a big step for me too. It is Italy, of course, uh, Spain, Portugal, we have France, I have England, and I have the Netherlands. Those are the eight leagues that I'm looking at. Uh, was a big step and it actually helped me and you know sometimes I look on the first uh, tier teams but sometimes a team gets relegated I made a video about the teams that were relegated uh, in the 22-23 for the 22-23 season that are not featured and then it's kind of sad to see them go in the cupboard but there are exceptions and it is right around this time and this happened now two years in a row where teams outside of these eight leagues are threatening or actually making it to the semi-finals and then I'm getting very antsy and I'm saying ah, I have kind of this inner desire or you know the perfectors in me to have a jersey for each of the at least for each of the semi-finalists in all European conditions I have at least one jersey and it came about because um, in 1819 Eintracht Frankfurt made it to the semi-final I did not have an Eintracht shirt back then because you know I, I didn't have any German club jersey back then um, and I used a Germany shirt that I had recently acquired which kind of worked out because both have an eagle uh, as a crest and um, both are headquartered in Frankfurt but it was not perfect but what I want to show you here are um, I think it's eight jerseys uh, one two three four five six seven eight eight jerseys that do not fit in these eight league parameters that I have that for one reason or another made it to, to, to the collection. I'm actually wearing the ninth one here, which is this Power Cup which is from 1718, which was of the jersey that I have here in the collection, is the oldest one that I have in there. However, there is a kind of an asterisk that we'll talk about in just a sec. But this one, um, I have made already a dedicated collection video. It's a jersey I absolutely love and adore as I actually in Greece, Pauk is my team. But let's get started with the jerseys. And the first one, that's the technicality because um, and we stay in Greece and it all comes in chunks, which is very interesting. So uh, the first one is all the Greek jerseys that I have because I got those kind of uh, first and then we add the others. And the first one that I show you is this long sleeve Pauk uh, home jersey from 2000 to 2002 this was worn of course this design is very well known for the France 2000 um, home jersey um, this particular one would only be the third if not the fourth on the list if I include this one here however my father right around the time 2000 or 2001 was going to Athens and of course all his boys were so crazy about soccer he brought them all uh, jerseys uh, they were all fake jerseys, so I had a fake of this one. I also made a video about my fake fake jerseys where you can see this one. And still working on replacing um, some of these. Many of them I have replaced. But the really cool thing is I never expected this one to pop up. Um, well, thanks to a connection between Panathinaikos and Rapid Vienna, the latter team that I really don't like. Uh, Panathinaikos jerseys are rare but not so super rare like other Greek teams and so this one popped up and I got it for a rather reasonable 15 years. It's a beautiful, really beautiful shirt. I'm very happy it's long sleeve. It has a few minor pulls here but it's in really good condition and I'm really really happy to have that one that I have an original uh, and it's 
probably if I go by uh, Desire, the only other Greek jersey that I ever want, 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 want to have. I mean, for me, Panathinaikos is, is in a way the Greek team because when I started watching, they were the big uh, Greek team and they um, it's a little bit like Juve and Milan in Italy. Olympiakos win the championships, whereas Panathinaikos go deep in European competition. So that one was kind of it. However, not to be outdone. Now, technically, I got this before the Panathinaikos shirt, but only uh, like a couple of weeks or so. It's the 20, uh, 2021 Pauk uh, home jersey where I said, okay, I have this away which is I really want to have a strike start. And I think they ended up winning the Greek Cup uh, with this one. A, I bought it directly from a Pauk store. It was rather reasonable priced on sale with rather reasonable shipping. Um, I do regret not getting a name set because it's blank on the back. Uh, the reason why I didn't, because I think I didn't have the option to get Greek lettering, which is something I would have liked uh, a whole lot. Now, my uh, friend Yanis will tell you that the striping is a little bit too thin for a classic power jersey, um, I guess. However, when I look at all my black and white stripes, and I don't have a thinly black and white striped Pauk jer uh, um, jersey, not Pauk, but any. So I actually really like that. And I actually also like, you know, the golden art. art. It's, it's rather classy. I really like how the sponsor is kind of applied on there as well. It's one of my uh, favorite shirts uh, in my collection on. I the def 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 in the top quarter or so. Uh, it's a jersey that I pull out rather free, frequently, uh, you know, kind of Lusk is a black and white team, but I don't necessarily wear a Lusk, but it, I still wear black, but I put black and white, but it's a little bit ob 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 obscure, so I really like that, that one, it's a great jersey to have. So those were the Greek jerseys, now um, we're not straying far from Greece for the next one, which I got also around the same time in 21, uh, there's also an unpacking video for that one. Uh, with, with the story is this Levski home jersey. Levski being the team that my wife's grandfather supported, so kind of she also was for Levski. So I always wanted to have, since I know my wife and I know, all know that I always wanted to have a Levski shirt. And yeah, it was kind of an ordeal to get this one, but get we did. Um, what I really like about it, I mean, you may say the sponsor here is ugly. I do agree with you. However, for me, the sponsor holds something because this is an Austrian company that you see very often. I think they even this is the, even the company that built the last stadium. So uh, in that sense, now nah, it was a different one. Sorry. But uh, you see them quite often and their requirement is that it's red lettering on a white background. That's why the freaking box. In any case, it is a pretty cool jer jersey. I absolutely love that it's the blue, but then you have the yellow and the red, so kind of adding all the primary colors. I really like that touch on it. Um, that we have these um, stripes here on the sleeves is maybe some something we can look into. It's an XL, however, it fits more like an L because, you know, it's Homer. Everything is a little, little, a little bit smaller, but uh, it's a jersey I really uh, am happy to have. And again, it's... I, it's probably not properly, but I always say this is my wife's team, so that's why I have this one. And you've seen me wear it occasionally in a video or two. I would love to use it for a video for Europa League or even Champions League review. Those I got in 21. Let's move to the ones I got in 2022. And now this is the first one that, that I got really because a team was threatening. To make it in the semifinals, uh, what's even more, I think at the time where we got they were actually uh, in the quarterfinals, and then I made it all all the all the way with the finals. Unfortunately, I have a good friend who is a fan of the team, that being Andy, and he organized this pretty Rangers jersey for me. So we're going Scotland here. Uh, this is the last Hummel jersey. I have written down that this is the 1920 uh, home jersey. I actually have to say. I really, really like that one. I like the uh, with the red, uh, you know, red, white, red. Yeah, it's an Austrian flag. I never really thought a low look at it this way, but I really like that uh, touch. Maybe the one thing that I find a teeny bit odd is uh, these uh, panels that kind of provide some ventilation. Uh, they're they're maybe a little bit odd. Maybe it would have been better to have, to not have them. But other, other than that, it's a super, super, super nice jersey. Uh, 
with the lots of nice pattern the club crest in there uh, in the sublimated so um, it's I'm really really proud and it was all, and it wasn't even all that expensive either in near perfect condition also a jersey thoroughly enjoyed this one very happy to have this in my collection now this is all from previous season now all the ones that I got here is during this season however the next two are not part of because of any emotional attachment or, or whatever maybe a slight emotional attachment because you know um, a holiday souvenirs count for that we're talking of course I had this little Prague trip with my family in October 22 of course I went to club stores and of course it didn't all work out as I would like to have I have a video on that up there as well um, but the first one is of course Slavia Prague. Uh, this is a match jersey from uh, the 21-22 season. It's a rather sturdy, uh, sturdy one, but I, I, th I think it's really, really nice. It has this classic Slavia, Slavia Prague half-half look with alternating sleeves. Uh, I really like that the star, you know, the main Slavia star is pointing down. However, then we have the two up here. It is a blank, which is a teeny bit of a shame because it would be really nice if there was another red panel here but yeah uh, this is modern kits uh, for you uh, but it's a really interesting nice jersey and you know uh, in, a, in, in addition Slavia Prague played Lusk in this jersey so you know uh, there's also that connection a memory of a rather successful conference league campaign where Slavia Prague proved to be then the final team and not to be outdone, I did not get only Slavia, but I also got Sparta. However, that story uh, linked in, in the video is a little bit of a different one because I didn't get it from the store or any, anything like that, but I found it locally. <laughs> and it's this away jersey from 06 07, which also fits kind of perfectly uh, because I was that year also in Prague. If I would have found the store, I probably might have gotten this jersey, so it's pretty, pretty cool. I uh, actually it's an away jer jersey but I really like that it still has the club's colors yes it should have a sponsor here it was for, for Fortuna but um, if you go on football kit archive you see it even without sponsors um, but I actually re uh, really like it because uh, despite having the maroon color it's clearly an away jer 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 jersey with, with, with the stripes it's pretty cool I gotta say I'm very pleased that, that I got this this was kind of premonition that this one found itself to me because I saw it in Prague and I thought it's a nice jersey. I saw it on Wilhelm. I got it. Okay, this is 22 and we have the Czech. Con Continuing the Czechs being the, the uh, Czech, Czech being the only other country where we have more than one jersey. Now we have two countries left. The next one is, and that was kind of a, real, a little bit of a freak thing. <sighs> Switzerland, FC Basel. Uh, I want to say, no, Basel was the second Sw city I've ever been to in Switzerland. I'm not an FC Basel guy, really not, really not. However, um, there was a package deal and at the point I knew that Basel is still in the conference league, although not doing well in the league. Uh, and I wanted to get a fan or the weight jersey. I said, okay, let's add this, this one in. Little did I know that this will make it all the way to the semifinal and potentially even more uh, in the conference league campaign. Uh, so I'm rather pleased with this. This one was also not that expensive and Swiss jerseys usually are quite expensive because Switzerland in general is quite expensive. But if you look at it, it's a classic Basel half half look, but the crest is differently because here it says 125, uh, 125 years. Uh, so 125 years. I tried to make the best Swiss accent that I, I, can, I can do. So this is kind of an anniversary crest. You, you usually FCB is here, and then there's the ball is kind of here to the side in 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 a way. So I found this interesting. Um, but yeah, other than that classic half half design, again again I would love this sleeve to be red. That's maybe the one thing. But maybe because the back here is also red, it kind of balances itself out. And is isn't it in a way sad that now half half jer jer jerseys is that one side. On the, on the front, it's half half on, on the back, the other color do dominates, which is a little bit sad to be honest. Ideally, if I could choose, it would have been the 1920 puzzle home because Lask kicked them out of the <laughs> Champions League that year. But you know, uh, it's the season prior. It's a nice jersey. However, in Switzerland, 
my heart does not go for Basel. My heart goes for Young Boys. And that I don't have a Young Boys jersey is a little bit sad, I have to say. And I'm working on it. But again, Swiss jerseys are expensive. And frankly, Young Boys jerseys as of late have not been that nice. Although I really saw the cup jersey that is going to be released. Which is special and I might spend the extra money uh for that uh if it gets released but you know let's see how it will go but i really would like to have a young boys jersey why is young boys my team a Bern is in my opinion the nicest town in switzerland and second they have a friendship with lusk so there you go the last one and that one i never thought that i will have from this country because uh, Let's face it, uh, while I think this country is a very strong league, it's a country that I have sometimes a hard time taking super seriously because it's wedged between two, if not three major powers. You can even say four, which is Belgium and it's the very recent Anderlecht jersey. Um, the countries, of course, being uh, the Netherlands, France, Germany, England, uh, across the other side. So, yeah, uh, this one was a panic buy. One that did not pay off. You know, once I saw the uh, qualifier, the first legs of the quarterfinals, I saw, okay, Union saint Julius make may make it to the semifinals, Anderlecht may make it to the semifinals. Neither one did. Uh, Union saint Julius were really hard to get for, or uh, I had to spend a lot of uh, money, and I'm glad I didn't. If they would have made it, I probably would have spent it, to be honest. However, I saw this also locally for... Maybe not a very, very reasonable price, but I have to say, I liked this jersey. Really liked this jersey. I uh, would have loved if the sash was on the back. This is from the 14-15 season. Uh, it's a pretty design. It is a purple, classic purple under the shirt. Not the classic sponsor with this rotated G, but uh, the sash and then the underlift crest in there uh, is really, really, really in in interesting. Fun fact, if you look at the underlift crest here, just look, this in the middle is the uh, original crest, which is very, very similar to the one from Union saint julois I guess this is may be one of the reasons why they added uh this shield here and, you know, a whole lot of it. It's a very complicated crest, to be honest. But nevertheless, it is Anderlecht and let's face it, Anderlecht is the biggest team from Belgium. They also have quite some European pedigree. Yes, they, will, they may not make it in, back into Europe into next season, but they are hoping that this team will make, make it back. So I hope I can wield out this nice jersey. In the meanwhile, I will actually probably wear it here, 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 here and there. Because I have to say, of all my purple jerseys, and there are not too, too many, this might be my favorite. And I'm including that Fiora Fiorentina shirt because it's a little bit lighter. It's very interesting, very, very stylish in a way. So yeah, these are some countries where I actually am thinking, should I add on to any of these countries? I mean, Greek teams, relatively hard to get around here. Belgian teams, really really hard to get in Czech teams not easy unless I go to a Czech Republic which is not too far from here so there might be some something but I think with the two big uh, Prague teams I'm also well covered uh, Bulgarian teams yes if I go to Bulgaria it may not be that hard to add Bulgarian teams uh, so that might be an option but I also have thought about other countries um, yeah Scottish teams I probably should get Celtic to have a little bit more balance there but you know uh, Celtic I actually find sometimes on Wilhaben but I have never found it at a price that I like um, Switzerland as I said I would like to have young boys at least and you know grasshoppers potentially <laughs> because just of the funny name and the a great crest um, I have been thinking about shall I start a Turkish collection because those pop up and are not that hard to get and especially the three big teams that would be interesting but yeah those are thoughts that i may have and let's see how those teams perform in europe in any case um these are this is a very distinct sub collection in my collection and i thought it's very nice to share these stories and i think there are some really nice shirts in there as well be it as it may, please give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, drop a line below what you thought about these jerseys or you have also some 
of teams in your collection that, that don't quite fit the mold but then in the end it does in a way uh, and yeah I will talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day bye